Hello everyone. After the previous two videos, many people asked us to elaborate on the solution of these quadratic equations. So here we are with a video on how exactly to solve a quadratic equation. We have used the method of factorization over here. Many other methods are, are available, but this is the easiest possible way. Do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified on many such updated videos. Before we move into solving the quadratic equation, let's go through a few important rules. Firstly, we need to identify whether the given equation is quadratic or no. The rule says an equation with one variable in which the highest power of the variable is 2. This means the equation can have only one unknown and the highest power of this unknown should be 2. For example, 3x square plus 4x plus 7 is equal to 0. So here x is the unknown variable and its highest power is 2. So it satisfies the first rule. Secondly, the standard form of this equation is ax square plus bx plus, 3 plus c is equal to 0. Where a, b and c are all real numbers and a is not equal to 0. So we have three constants here a, b and c and only one variable x. For a quadratic equation, it is compulsory that the coefficient of x square cannot be 0. So a cannot be equal to 0 and all a, b and c are real numbers. Lastly, every quadratic equation gives two values of the unknown variable and these are called as roots of the equation. So after solving this kind of equation, we get two values, that is two answers. Both these values will satisfy the equation and these are called as roots of the equation. Now let's see how exactly to solve a quadratic equation using factorization. We will understand this with the help of a few examples. Our first example is as follows. 11x square plus 18x is equal to minus 7. Before we start solving it, we need to identify if the given equation is quadratic or no. If we see the equation, it has only one variable x, its highest power is 2 and the coefficient of x square is not equal to 0. So all the conditions are satisfied and the given equation is a quadratic equation. So we can start solving it further. To solve it, we will follow a certain rules. The first one is transpose all the terms of the equation to the left hand side and equate it to 0 which means there should not be any term on the right hand side of the equation here we have minus 7 on the right hand side we will move it to the left hand side when we do so the sign of the term changes so now the equation becomes 11x square plus 18x plus 7 is equal to 0 we have equated the equation to 0 over here the right hand side does not have any other numbers Second rule says we have to compare the given equation with the standard form which we saw earlier was ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. When we do so, we can identify the terms a, b and c. So for our equation, a is equal to 11, b is equal to 18 and c is equal to 7. So if we multiply a into c, we get 77. Factorization is the method of splitting the middle term. Here, middle term is nothing but b. So b is 18 and a into c is 77. We need to remember these two terms to solve the equation further. To solve the equation using factorization, we need to split the middle term such that we will find two numbers whose sum is equal to plus 18 and product is equal to 77. This plus 18 is the b term and a into c gave us 77. To do so, we have to follow certain sign conventions. If you see the table, our category right now falls into the first row. Our B is positive and A into C is also positive. So we need two numbers wherein larger number will also have the positive sign and smaller number will also have positive sign. Our two numbers should satisfy the criteria that their sum is plus 18 and product is equal to plus 77. 
to split the middle term we need the product equal to 77 so we will try to find all the factors of 77 when we do so we get 77 can be equal to either 1 into 77 or 7 into 11 if we look into this factors carefully we can see that 7 and 11 are those two numbers which when added up can give us plus 18 and which when multiplied can give us plus 77 so these are the numbers which we will use to split the middle term of the equation when we do so our equation becomes 11x square plus 11x plus 7x plus 7 is equal to 0 if you see this equation we have just split the middle term that is 18 is now written as 11x and 7x so nothing of the equation has changed we have just replaced 18 using two other terms such that their sum is equal to 18 and their product is equal to 77 now if we can take 11x common out of the first two terms so we get 11x in the bracket x plus 1 we take plus 7 common out of the next two terms and we get 7 in the bracket x plus 1 is equal to 0. To check if we have correctly split the middle term, we should see that both the brackets should have the same terms. Since it is so we are, our splitting is correct. Now we can combine 11x plus 7 and x plus 1 giving us equal to 0. Both these terms can individually be equated to 0. So we get 11x plus 7 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. So our answer will be equal to either x is equal to minus 7 upon 11 or x is equal to minus 1. Both these are the roots of the equation and both these will give us the answer to the equation. That is they will both satisfy the equation correctly. Let's look into one more example to make things clear. Our second example is x square minus 18x plus 45 is equal to 0. Since right hand side is already equal to 0, we need not transpose any terms. So firstly, we will compare the given equation with the standard form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and identify the terms a, b and c. So for the given equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 18 and c is equal to plus 45. To split the middle term and solve the equation further we need to remember two terms b which is equal to minus 18 and product of a and c which is equal to plus 45. To solve the equation further we will have to follow the sign convention table. So as per the table we fall into the second row of the table where b is negative and a into c is positive. So we need two numbers whose product is positive and sum is negative. Now we can get positive product in two conditions either when we multiply two positive numbers or when we multiply two negative numbers but but since b is negative over here we'll have to consider two negative numbers because minus into minus gives us plus and our sum will remain negative so we will split the middle term using two negative numbers over here So as per the sign conventions we need to find our two numbers for that we will have to first factorize 45 if we see the factors of 45 we get it as either 3 into 15 or 5 into 9 or 5 into 3 into 3 when looked carefully we can see that 3 and 15 are those two numbers which when added up will give us 18 and which when multiplied will give us 45. So we will consider these two numbers to split the middle term. So now our equation becomes x square minus 3x minus 15x plus 45 is equal to 0. Both the factors are taken negative over here as per the sign rules we saw earlier because b in the original equation is minus 18. So in the new equation instead of using minus 18x we have used minus 3x and minus 15x. 
Now we can solve further by taking out x common in the first two terms. So we get x in the bracket x minus 3. Taking out minus 15 common in the next two terms and we get minus 15 in the bracket x minus 3. Remember since we have taken negative common the interior sign changes. Now both the brackets are equal so our splitting is correct. Further, we can combine the terms as x minus 15 being one term and x minus 3 being the other term, equating it to 0 and giving us the final answer equal to x equal to 15 or x is equal to 3. Both these are the roots of the given equation. Similarly, any quadratic equation can be solved using this method. All we need to do is factorize the product of a and c and find the correct combination of numbers and form the equation by splitting the b term as per the sign convention. Hope I've made this easy for you all. Do subscribe the channel to get updated on many more such interesting videos and concepts made clear. 